Here's another philology exercise where we are just going to shoot all, all of these balls into either corner pocket, doesn't matter, they're all in the same zone, they have the same position value. That way, no, no matter where we leave ourselves up here, we can easily calculate using this rail, that rail, and that rail to get alignment values, calculate what the fraction should be. As long as you have a fractional shot, you can shoot it. No straight ends, no scratching, no hitting any other ball. So, we're going to start with a half ball on this five, just like that. Right there. Bring the cue ball off the side rail right back out here where I'm at, close to it, and shoot another shot. Twelve balls almost straight in. This is a seven eight. If I shoot any of these, I'm going to run into the other one, so I can't do that. The three ball is a three quarter. This one is a three eight. That's how simple and, and quick you can get the fraction, the fractional aim points. So let's pick the three quarter shot on the three ball, and we're going to roll up, stun it, and roll over to here and back out. Now, since I am going to stun it, I'm going to put a tiny bit of right hand spin, maybe just a just a touch, not even enough to call it a, a percentage of my tip, just a little bit to the right of center, like a millimeter or two, slight, to offset the throw that's going to happen when I hit it at, on a stun type shot. Three quarter aim, just right there, tiny bit. This shot right here, that's a three quarter, that's a half. We are setting at a five eight for the four. Can't shoot this one, I'll run into that one. That one's straight in. Looks like a half a ball. Got a half ball shot on, on the 11 ball. It's a good time to shoot the 11, bring your cue ball straight back out. It's a straight draw shot and half ball hit. ball straight in. Shooting these right here will cause me to run into these other ones. I, I don't want to run into anything. This right here is a half a ball. That's a quarter. So I'm a, about a three-eighths for that pocket. Now I would have to really put a lot of draw on it to get the cue ball to hit here and not go into there. I could cut the eight over there and not hit anything. I want to keep shooting in those pockets so when I cut the eight over there I'll have to Spin it, I'll have to have the cue ball go here, there, and there, and back out here without hitting those. I would much rather just shoot the 3 8 shot on this 4 ball. Put it down there in the pocket, 3 8 aim. I'm just going to use, probably going to actually hit this with some bottom right. Come off here, 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 and back out to there. Let's see if that works. Probably scratch. Let's find out. Firm. One ball is straight in, I can't shoot it. The eight ball, if I cut it over here, I'm going into the one. It's a quarter ball shot, the shooter over there. But now the cue ball is going to go around again, and I may run right into them. Come over here, look at the 12. There's a half a ball. There's a three eighths. So we're in between a half and a three eighths. I mean, I can aim at the half and put some right hand spin on it and still make it. We're probably just going to aim at the three eighths and float it so I can go here, back to here, and then back out. I don't want to have to spin it around here and take a chance on being out of line on those balls. So we're going to go for the three eighths and just float. like that. That's a 7-8 shot. And that's a 7-8 shot. 
this is probably even closer to, I could almost make it almost shooting straight and shoot to that side of the pocket. So I'm probably gonna shoot this one, it's got more of an angle on it, but it's still seven eighths. I'm gonna hit it, just draw the cue back to here, probably have a half a ball shot on the eight. From that angle, I'm not sure now. I may shoot it and just bring it over here. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna really stroke this ball. A little much. We've got a three-quarter ball shot right there, right there in the corner. From a distance, it's a little harder. It's harder to hit the exact spot you're aiming at when you're four feet from the ball. But it can be done. Just have to practice it, which I don't do. Let's see. So I just set about six or seven balls out here. They're all in zone A, shoot them toward the corners. That's a good practice. It, you can get the fractions down faster, program your brain.